Motorcycling, motorcycles, the fun word, motorcycle. Mm, motorcycle. Mm, it's like, ooh, Mufasa. <laughs> questions I got was what's a good first bike is XYZ bike a first XYZ sorry somebody complained about that in America we can we say Z and in other English speaking countries they say Z it's more fun Z, Z. it's like you can't take us seriously we don't we don't speak English good <laughs> remember Ralph from the Simpsons me fail English that's impossible <laughs> Oh, this, somebody asked me if this works. It used to. It's it's all rusted out now. The bell doesn't work anymore. It used to work. Okay, what's a good first bike? Is this bike, and they list a bike, a good first bike. What do you think of this bike? I'll address the first bike issue. I've motor vlogged about it a lot and never posted it. Holy cow, people. I know you're hurried to go home, but I am hurried to not be sitting here. Oh, careful, it's gonna tip. Oh yeah, stare at me. That'll really help you turn faster. Okay, I'm gonna totally go now. First bike, it really doesn't matter. Buy something cheap and has enough power to be safe to use, but not don't buy a super sport. I'd recommend against it because not not that it's not even about your maybe you grew up riding dirt and so you could probably handle it. Riding street still different than dirt. That gives you an, an, an edge and a very, very real edge for sure. But still the handling and the cornering and the braking dynamics are different. You'll understand quite a bit and you won't be scared of like a slight slide. You'll be less likely to accidentally high side because if it's steps out a little bit you won't freak out i hate these tar snakes yeah. Yeah. don't worry too much about that get something that's inexpensive easy to maintain cheap to insure because you're probably not going to stick with it you're probably not going to want to keep it and no matter what you think you want in street riding almost always not always but almost always when you start riding once you actually start you'll discover you're not that, that your preferences are different than what you thought they would be until you started doing it. If you think you want to ride, you're really excited about it, go for it. But um, don't stress too much about finding the perfect bike. Find someone that's easy to resell, that's cheap to insure and cheap to maintain. It's kind of like, you know, I think I want to play guitar. Well, you don't start out buying a $5,000 guitar. You buy something that's enjoyable to play, that fits you well, but that's not a million bucks in case you end up not liking it. You know, it's it's a big investment. And look at insurance costs, especially if you're a single young male. Uh, insurance on a super sport is going to be insane. As far as riding positions, seating positions, just sit on the bike. If you're not ready or comfortable to ride it yet, uh, sitting on it can tell you a lot about if you really like the feel of it. Get in the riding position. Don't just sit on it and be like, yeah, I can touch the ground. Like, put your hands on the handlebars, see what you think, and then, you know, with the kickstand down, pick your feet up, see how it feels. But that's, there's no wrong answer. I mean, you may start on a cruiser and decide you want a crotch rocket. You may start on a crotch rocket and decide you want a dual sport. You may start on a dual sport and decide you want a super sport. You don't know. And any combination of anything in between. You may start on one, in one particular model, decide you like that genre, but you want a little more power, or you want one more set up for touring, or, you're really just going to be doing a lot of commuting and so you need something that's going to be a little more upright seating position or whatever you may realize you don't really ever want to ride when it's cold or you never want to ride uh, on a long trip or you're not going to ride as often as you thought you were or you're going to ride a lot more often than you thought you were and you won't know any of that you know where you like to ride what you like to ride what you want to be doing more of until you get out there and start doing it figuring out what you like and don't like so if you know you definitely want to ride, you like that idea a lot, well then go for it and just look for something that's a good deal, that's going to be, that's in you know reasonably good shape, so you're not going to, you'd be frustrated if you're always having to fix it and never out riding it. That'll turn you off from riding pretty quick. So something that's mechanically sound, easy to maintain, cheap to insure, don't really worry too much about what it is. Because I'm telling you, you'll have fun no matter what, honestly. I've ridden cruisers and dual sports and sport bikes and naked bikes and and i love it all supermoto is definitely my favorite why that's my only bike right now it still is it was the second bike i ever owned and uh it's the one i'm plan on hanging on to as long as i possibly can yeah don't worry about it don't stress but um if you think you've got one you want look up uh look up what the service intervals are for it do some research look up service intervals look up resale values and look up insurance rates 
and all of that may decide for you if you're going to want to get it or not. Don't spend a whole bunch of money on it uh, if it's your first bike. That's just not wise with any new hobby. Oh, that's a stop sign. Oh. I need to adjust. My exhaust valves are tight, so if I stop suddenly, I lose compression like that. It dies. That's all it is. Don't be freaked out. All right. I need to buy some pants. Ah!